rolled out of bed. I logged into my brokerage account in which pre-market trading, I was up over $100,000 because of Apple and Tesla. And then bloop, a light bulb went off because that's right, today was the stock split, folks, in which no brokers could get the information, right? Not stock to tech. Even if you go on Google right now, it looks like Tesla and Apple are down like 70 or 80%. And I want you to let me know in that comment section below if you went through a similar experience on your brokerage account. But today, I want to explain to you why I think Tesla and Apple are continuing to go on this crazy ass bull run. And it is all because of this one contributing factor. And it is because of you Robinhood traders out there. And in this video, I want to explain to you what I mean. So in the clarity of my transparency, do you mind hitting that like button? Really appreciate it. But let's just... Ha ha! investors I like. So we're going to go over my personal position in these companies and I'm going to break down for you some of my concerns and some of the reasons that I think these stocks are able to run up so unbelievably uh, much considering Apple has added over a trillion dollars to its market cap in the last six months alone. Just taking a look, Apple is sitting at $130 or a 5% since the split happened today. And same with Tesla up almost 10% at $486 a share. I think if it breaches 500, you're looking at a $2,500 share price as it would have been yesterday if things just kept going at this right here, folks. And taking a look at my personal brokerage account, I have 120 shares of Apple now at an average cost of $43 with the current market price around 130. I am up almost 200%. The capital gain over $10,000 here, folks. And just taking a look at Tesla. I now have 25 shares at an average cost of $71 a share with the current price being $480 roughly. I'm also up over $10,000 or the equivalent of 572% here, folks. But the reason I have the charts pulled up in my brokerage accounts is there's something going on that I'm still finding fairly impressive. And that is the fact that volume has been drying up over the last month. Take a look at Apple stock, what we can see down here are these little red and blue bars, which just represents the amount of shares that are being sold in blocks and the amount of shares that are being bought in blocks throughout the different days. We can see going back to the beginning of the month here, the volume was pretty insanely heavy in which it's slowly been petering off, but somehow the stock is still going up, which means there's a lot more people still buying than selling. Now let's take a look at Tesla stock. If we just take a look at the last day alone here, folks, it looks like we had a very big excitement into the morning open and followed by a lot of volume you build up by 11 a.m. and then everything is just petered off yet the stock is still able to move higher and you're probably thinking to yourself you sound like a day trader you're talking about volume you know movements in the stock price but the reason i'm showing this to you guys is it really doesn't matter how much volume there is there's just way more buyers than sellers so the real question is is who is gobbling up the people selling them because typically when volume slows down the stock price doesn't just keep going up if anything it usually starts going down now what would be causing this well i think it's a combination of ignorance and Robinhood traders, if I'm being 100% honest. Now, I'm gonna to explain to you what I mean here because a lot of you probably use Robinhood. But I wanna share with you some analytical data that is really good and really bad because it all comes down to how many Robinhood traders are actually buying into these companies. And this is information that doesn't get publicized very often because I think Robinhood actually has to publicly release it themselves. It isn't just knowledge you can go and find. In which somebody put together some charts here, we're gonna take a look at in a sec, that shows us the correlation of the stock price versus Robinhood buyers of the stocks but what i would like to do is show you what is going on with robin hood right now now robin hood is apparently worth more than 11 billion dollars and i want to read through this little article that says the free trading app has been benefiting from millennials betting on stocks and now is worth more than the traditional gambling companies like mgm and wind the startup announced monday it raised another 200 million in funding pushing its valuation to 11.2 billion dollars that's up sharply from the 8.6 billion valuation robin hood achieved and a separate round of funding that closed last month. The rapidly rising price tags on Robinhood, which is rumored to be getting to go public soon, is yet more evidence of how this startup has transformed a trading industry and emerged as one of the winners of the pandemic. Robinhood is growing quickly during the period of historic market turmoil that has coincided with millions of Americans working from home. As of early May, Robinhood reportedly adding more than 3 million users in 2020. 
20 and half of those new users were first time investors daily average revenue trades another key metric that tracks the number of trades that earn the company's revenue through commissions or free more than doubled between the first and second quarter according to Robinhood. in today's volatile market new traders are seeking ways to profit from the swings in the stock's price spurred by the cv virus to help validate the Robinhood business model came from robert lee fine tech analyst now the reason i'm sharing this article with you is because Robinhood has accumulated about 13 million users on the platform and 3 million of which apparently only just came on this year alone and there are a lot of new investors out there that are probably just following the daily trends in which Apple and Tesla are literally some of the hottest trends in the market right now and unfortunately this data though takes us into 2020 doesn't give me the most recent information or after the stock split taking a look at Tesla with this chart that goes all the way to August I wish I had the rest of the August data but it represents how many individual Robinhood users are actually buying into the stock. So going from July to the beginning of August, in one month, Tesla added over 200,000 Robinhood users, making it very hard for anybody to sell out of the stock because anybody selling out, there are hundreds of thousands of new Robinhood users that are lined up to pick these incredible hype stocks up. Now let's take a look at Apple stock. Same sort of deal. Let's go back from June here if we can get to the 7th. So going from June to the beginning of August here, folks, we can see that Apple stock has added has also added over 200,000 Robinhood users and the fact that these companies are sitting on the S&P 500 so even if Robinhood users are just buying into index funds like QQQ VOO the spy they are still loading up on the majority of these high flying stocks here folks I mean let's go take a look at Microsoft also same sort of deal a massive influx of Robinhood users it really doesn't matter what stock we're looking at here with Ford that has a massive run up in new Robinhood users you got GE here up with a massive run up of new Robinhood users whether you want to believe in it or not Robinhood is inspiring a whole new generation of investors out there that are going to add more volatility to the market than I think we've ever experienced in the past and just taking a look at Tesla and Apple right now for as long as there's just new people shut down at home looking for new ways to make money we all know greed attracts greed that attracts greed it's no different than any other bubble that you're going to experience in the market now for as long as this thing keeps running up I honestly think we just need one little trigger. Now, I am not a financial advisor. This is just my humble opinion because I do hold these stocks watching Tesla cross over nine, nine, $490, man. It's just printing, printing, printing. Every like half hour, I look at it here. But I think one little trigger of bad news could set into a major sell-off here, folks. Like, I mean, it wouldn't take a whole lot for Robinhood investors that have never really traded before that are experiencing this massive bull run. I think one thing could just send the stock slightly into a downtrend that could cause a massive sell-off which is why i've been periodically taking profits and I'm probably going to continue to take profits because, I mean, Apple alone is getting into an over 40 PE. It is likely priced in the next five to six years. Tesla is starting to price in the next seven to 10 years because they're expected to grow at a 50% clip for the next five years, which, trust me, has been fully priced into the stock at this point. So I'm just riding this wave and just, you know, trimming profits. But if I'm being 100% honest in the wisdom of Warren Buffett, the great legend the oracle of omaha says be fearful when those are greedy and greedy when those are fearful and there are a lot of stocks out there that i would rather be more greedy with than tesla or apple right now if you hold these positions I would just recommend holding them. I would not be buying here, folks. If anything, I would be trimming in which I might do one more final trim session. Um, if Apple or Tesla starts getting into that $500 range, I'm probably going to take a little bit more. Uh, same with Apple there. Because, I mean, like I said, I'm up. I got a $15,000 position in Apple. And I also got, you know, almost another $12,000 position in Tesla. I will keep a percentage for the long term because I'm in this game with you guys as well. And I want to see how this turns out. But in the macro aspect of things, it's fun to diversify my portfolio, continue increasing my dividends, getting me ever closer to financial independence, which I don't want to have to rely on growth stocks to get me there because if they do flop, I could end up seeing a 20, 30, 40% correction in something like Apple or Tesla in which it doesn't recover, say, for the next three to five years when I might want to be able to tap into that dividend income today. So in the clarity of my transparency, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear your opinions in that comment section below, but stay cool, stay awesome, and I look forward to chatting to you tomorrow. Okay, this is a, this is a high energy pick. Um, all right, Gertrude, thanks for coming out. Um,
So what you're, the, the beeps you're hearing are real-time signals from the neural link in Gertrude's head. So this neural link connects to neurons that are uh, in her snout. So whenever she snuffles around and touches something with her snout, the, that sends out uh, neural spikes, which are detected here.